from the University of California at Davis. This is News Watch. Proton therapy for cancer could become more widely available thanks to collaboration between UC Davis, the Lawrence Livermore National Lab, and industry. The 40-year-old cyclotron at UC Davis's Crocker Nuclear Lab is one of just five sites in the country to offer proton therapy now. It treats patients with cancers of the eye. The major advantage of proton therapy is that it delivers nearly all of the radiation to the tumor and it spares the normal tissue. So you get greater dose with less side effects. Now, new technology developed at Lawrence Livermore National Lab makes it possible to shrink the size and cost of proton accelerators. It would be much more widely available to the uh, treatment community on, as a whole uh, if we can reduce the, the cost down to something uh, around 20 million or less. There are millions of potential candidates for proton therapy. Bringing spin-off technology into commercial use is part of the Livermore Lab's mission. Every once in a while we come across a technology which we believe is particularly important uh, to the country in a non-national security sense. The lab has licensed the technology to Tomo Therapy Inc. to develop a machine for use in hospitals. UC Davis Cancer Center will be the first site to test the new machine. Doctors hope to start treating patients in 2010. I think that more patients are going to get treated. I think we're going to learn more. I think we're going to do better. And yes, just like all technologies, we'll then work to replace it with something even better. Reporting from UC Davis, I'm Andy Fell. For more information, please log on to broadcast.ucdavis.edu.